Hello everyone, my name is Melinda, and I'm going to do a pride reading, you know, because I'm proud. <laughs> okay, I'm using the um, Fairy Tarot, Pride Tarot, Angels of Atlantis. They've all been cleaned, and I put them all to my heart to connect. And if there's any other decks that want to come out after that, they're, they're right here ready to. All right, let's get these things shuffled up. So, how's everybody doing? Is everybody doing good? Hope everybody's enjoying Pride Month, even though I'm pretty sure we're proud every day. <laughs> Uh-oh, something went flying. Well, whatever it is, we'll see it in a second. It was this whoop. I don't know what it says. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, it wants to stop right there. But that, oh, that was down. Aren't these cards beautiful? Check these out. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take three from the top. Three from the bottom. Okay. Three from the top. Three from the bottom. Yeah, there's been a lot of parades. There's going to be some parades coming up. Right there. Let's take four from the top, two from the bottom. Okay, let's see what these things say. I'm gonna take them from the bottom because that was what was picked up first. <gasps> <clears throat> awakening, that's what flew out. The awakening card. Um, for change, the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, of course. And a temporary pause in the action. This is the hanged man, which is looking at things in a new direction. It's got the yin yang that he's hanging from. Isn't he beautiful? For dude, of course. <laughs> okay, the Eight of Spring, which says stress that comes from the. I'm a little dys dyslexic here, but give me a. Give me, okay. Stress that comes having many things happening at once successful multitasking suddenly events or changes so something may be happening that may switch up a little bit for whatever reason but no worries that everything's going to be all right looky there <clears throat> okay, um, let's get more of the story. The lovers. True love that is long-lasting. 
Choices made from the heart. A return to good health. Awesome. That's what I was going to say. I forgot. Um, but what I was going to say is that not all of these messages is going to resonate with everybody. Because I'm sure there's more than one person that's going to be watching this. So just take what resonates with you. All right. Yeah. The lovers. <laughs> Balance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Got the strength of a lion. Strength of a lion. Balance. Everything always balances out. It may take a little bit of time, but it always, always works out the way it's supposed to. The Prince of Spring. Charming, self-confident, passionate, restless. Immediate action. A challenge you can successfully manage. A passionate relationship. So whether if you're in a relationship or maybe almost ready to be into a relationship. I mean, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Self confident baby. You can ride that rabbit. <laughs> The two of summer. Falling in love or making a serious, serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. That's the second one that was mentioned in healing. So maybe somebody's in a relationship that just needs a little bit of healing, not to rush into anything, unless they're harming you, of course. If there's ever any hurting, and then it's always a different situation. But if somebody did something that you don't like, maybe we can discuss it with one another. And then the uh, Princess of Winter. Inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic. Information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness and indigo child or adult so maybe somebody's just a little bit different than us and maybe they don't know how to handle things exactly the way that we do because maybe we, we were just raised a little different and so maybe if we speak a little kinder not be so judgmental, maybe. I just heard that. So that's not for everybody. You all know who that's for. Okay, now that um, the, um I always want to call it the... That was the fairy tarot. This is the pride tarot. Pow. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say. Now this is the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Look at them beauty queens. All dolled up, not knowing which one to go for, man. All looks so beautiful. Just know that taking both of them 
everybody's got to be on, on the same kind of right-mindedness for that. <laughs> the two of pentacles. He's dancing on somebody's heart. Check him out. Look how flamboyant he is. Yeah. But everybody loves him. But he's got a choice to make. And he's just taking those two coins and throwing them up. You know, catching and throwing. Catching and throwing. So maybe you have a choice to make. The Queen of Cups. Check her out. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That was dancing right out of my hand. Whoa. Should have turned the big light on. Yeah. Boy, she knows exactly what she wants. She is so confident. She's wearing some beautiful, beautiful garments. All kind of beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. There's so much love. Has that bird. The bird has no color. But he's balancing it on one finger. She's all she's she's got it in control. And look and look at that. She's got those cups balancing just right. And it looks like a she's she's on a octopus. On an octopus boat or a rock or something. She just got it made. She's got it going on. She has a lot of confidence. Confidence in her emotions. In her thought process. <clears throat> this is the Two of Wands. Wow, that's a beautiful card. A lot of twos and balance is coming up. And what I'm also seeing on this card is while both of them's got head to head, butt to butt, with their wands out, it almost looks like together they make a candle. And together they make fire. And it doesn't matter if they're face to face or butt to butt. That they're in tune together. Yeah. The nine. So this is the hermit. So maybe somebody wants to stay inside. Just stay inside. And look at all the beautiful things that they have. And that's all right. It's also all right if while they're looking at all their beautiful things, if they step outside of themselves. Look outside and look at all the beauty there. You can remain inside also. It's all right. Sometimes we just need to listen. Or look. Just gotta go with your gut feeling. Hmm. <laughs> and then the star. The star card. Looking up at all the light. At all the light. Just know that maybe not everybody's in the pride or being happy. But while we look face to face into the light, we know that 
We're going to be all right. We can feel love even if it's hugging ourselves. Swimming alone is okay. Because you're a he, she, mermaid. Her. her hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. A merman. A she merman. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, though. Look at all the light. And the strong back. Dang, gone. Look at that strong back. And them arms. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's see what the angels of Atlantis have to say. Retreat. Some of us may need to retreat. Stay inside like the hermit. Or step away from a relationship if things aren't right. But no, not everything is written in stone. Not everything is. Joy. Maybe when that he, she, merman person jumps out of the water, it looks like a joyful, joyful dolphin in the sunlight. Yeah. Male, male energy, female energy. It's all energy. Compassion. Sometimes we just need to have a little bit of compassion for ourselves. Compassion for others. Stay next to the light. Breathe in the light, and you're going to be all right. Empathy. There may be some of you guys, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you is, that are probably pretty empathic, psychic could hear things, see things, go with your gut. We've had to a lot of times, or else we may not have made it out of the situation. <coughs> Stitch! It's okay. Not every animal is loyal. Maybe the dog and cat wants to say, hey man, I was here first. And it's okay. Use your gut. No matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter what day or what month it is. Always go with your gut. Your gut knows. Courage. Maybe the ones that stand in like hermits will have the courage to at least open up the window. See what's going on outside. Turn on the TV, the internet, and see what's going on. Forgiveness. Sometimes we need to forgive others. Sometimes we need to forgive ourselves. A lot of people done a lot of wrong. 
And if we wasn't any calls of it, and then it's not on us. It's not on us. So maybe if we forgive ourselves for how we felt about it. Yeah. Maybe we're going to go see a Rocky Horror flick, man. How long has it been since you've seen Rocky Horror, man? Shoot. I know it's been a little bit of time for me, too. Maybe you're going to find somebody and be as happy as happy as could be. Use your gut. You know. I love you guys. And may the force be with you. <laughs> and these cairns that's going inside of uh, what uh, the Target store or whatever, that's on them. It's not on you. It's not on me. It's on them. I love you. Be proud. Let's show our colors. I'm not saying to go show our colors in dangerous areas. <laughs> but I know for myself, I usually wear my... I forget how people have said it before. Wearing something on my sleeve. However it goes, I don't know. Just be ourselves, even if it's inside of our house or if it's outside of our house. If we're walking in the parade or watching the parade. If we're watching the parade or if we're up on a float, don't forget to watch around and have a good time. But watch around too. we got to watch each other's backs because there's some crazy bumpers here on the ground. Okay. Let's go out in rainbow style. Mwah. I love you guys. And if you ever want a reading, let me know. My email's up there. And it's don't cost nothing. It's always, it's freely given to me. I'm not going to charge. So my email's up on the front of the page. Get in touch with me. <laughs>